Hello, Al 6D Diesels. Um, I am back on the Dirty T1. And just to add, I've got a, another one to do. I'm doing a bit to a 906. And if I swing around like this, we've welded trigger up, finally. So um, I've got my big repair panel here, which we've cut out of another one. I mean, it's a fairly massive repair panel. Um, but I've, uh, I've just pulled the front, drilled the front, old front windscreen panel, screen panel off, so I'm just gonna start cutting into the bulkhead. And um, I've stripped the rest of the bits out of this. If I give you a quick show what we're on up to, and um, we'll have a bit of a wander around the workshop, and I'll show you some of the other stuff we've done in the last few weeks, because it's been really, really, really busy as normal. So we got this thing back in again, we did not say. It's just been work-wise, it's been too busy really to get on with it. So uh, I'm just starting to cut the section out that I want to repair. So basically, or replace, not repair. So I'm gonna go down through here, if this bit's good enough. Um, I'm gonna pretty much cut all the way along this bulkhead seam here, um, through the center of this hole, through here, up here, and then try and pick this off the top because there is a, a wiper motor or a wiper spindle support bracket in behind here. And I'm gonna try and stitch the old one in or vice versa, stitch the, the one that's coming off of um, Al's repair panel. So this is, uh, we, we had, well, you'll see in an earlier, in, earlier in this video, I, um, I cut this section out of our dead 410 out the back because unbelievably, I mean, you can see that I've um, just, I literally just drilled all the spot welds and I've picked the, the old front windscreen panel off. But this bulkhead panel is an absolutely cracking nick. So you can't get that. So we're gonna use this to repair that so I can put the front back on it, finish these cornering bits both sides. That bit there as well, and finally get rid of it. We've also got a nice customer of ours. She's had this little 210 petrol for years. So uh, we're on a bit of restoration there. We've got all the panels ordered in. Um, we've got some fairly sizable holes in the seals. Um, this, this sliding door lower panel is shot. The inner and outer of the sliding door is shot. Um, as you can see, the window apertures had suffered. I mean, they're rubbered and the rubbers weren't very good and it had got in between the two seams, rotted that out. We just move the welder. So, luckily enough, the lower rear panel's really good. So we've got inner and outer bottom rear doors do. Um, we've got the same problem on the other side. It's a bit crispy. So on them, I'm going to peel this window out next. Um, same problem there. Rear quarter's gone um, in front of the rear wheel arch. This isn't too bad. Um, I'm probably going to put some sections into this actually because it is pretty good. It's only got one pickly bit. Bottom of the door, inner and outer knackered. And then round the front, luckily enough, look at that, for a cracking screen panel on a wide reg T1. Um, inner wings have been done before, but as you can see, the, uh, the outer wings had, it, had expired, they've gone. So we've got a bit of work to do under this one and a bit of tidying up, because I don't particularly, I do like this welding repair, it sort of offends me. So we'll tidy that up a bit. And then, um, so this side, I don't like that just saw that and then try and clean some of this up with a previous person um, the original wings are a goner as you can see good old coastal coastal motor homes they do pattern ones they're pretty good quality they need a little bit of adjustment only mainly here this just needs to be slid in Ooh. slid in on here just to make it a slightly nicer job of it um so what else we still haven't finished painting this that's next on the list um, another customer's little V6, super short wheelbase, flat roof 906. Um, it had got 906 gout, so the doors were horrible. These doors are actually much better than the originals. Um, we chucked those on, but obviously they've been outside for a while. And, um, and this wheel arch and its inner had, um, had completely disintegrated. Um, so we cut and seamed a new panel in. Um, and for something that has no filler in it at the moment. I think that's pretty good. So we're gonna do the normal 906. They give, put these stupid holes in Mercedes do and they have a little piece of sticky tape over the top. And what happens is they have a bit of sticky tape. Well, there's a bit of sticky tape. No, stupid idea that is rubbish. They break like that. And then the water runs down the side of the van, goes in there. And if the drain holes and the seals aren't brilliant, fills them up. So that seal had about five liters of water in it. Um, replace the back doors, so that is actually its registration number, that's dead and it's not actually a 313. Um, and the same on this side, the wheel arch this side is perfect, um, so that's salvageable, we'll peel all these back side trims off 
Um, we peeled all the, obviously the main side trims, the door trims off the new doors that have just been chucked on. This is a replacement one. And I'll go through and put some proper decent rubber bungs in these holes. And then we tend to put some decent sort of pseudo. We use sealant around them to make sure that um, the water can't get in there. That'll dry it out nicely. And then basically I reckon we're trying to get rid of the rust. So we got a bit of rust pickle there. Rust pickle there. Got some rusty pickle up there. The back's pretty good. These doors have been quite a nice nick. Um, we've got some rust up there. So I have a feeling by the time I finished, it is probably best that we paint both sides of this. Luckily enough, paint the side of a white panel van's not terribly difficult, so we'll peel all this trim off. And then we've got trigger. Now, as I say, trigger wasn't a particular rust job. My mate was prepared to wait. So trigger has had new foot wells. New inner wing, inner front wheel arches. New outer front wheel arches. The new inner that goes in here, all the way in for the back inner sill. All the outer sills. That in there, an outer sill. A cab corner, that was done quite a while ago. We've got a bit of surface rust on there, but that'll be fine. And then uh, it's obviously had this large chunk of, of wing here. And if we toddle around here, it's had that big chunk of wing and an inner. Same again, inner, outer, um, footwell, inner sill. Um, we've got a little bit of filler there where the join is because we didn't want to really cut up into it. This bit was fine. Outer sill, inner sill, and a cab corner. So the job now is to get all this seam sealed up to death. Then I'm going, it's got to be painted, scratched off, painted white, and then we're going to wax oil it to death in the um, in the vain hope that we can slow it down so it lasts a bit longer. Because um, I don't really want to replace any more a trigger. Um, I think the old boys, what else will be done? Uh, did make a start on so little 210 of mine. So uh, we can drag it out back all day weekend. And um, I've repaired all the holes and the dings in the side of it down there, put a rear quarter in it. Um, it's all body filled up at the moment, but it's got a bit more straightening. I've dragged the old E-class that's been in the hedge around the back out. Fixed it, finally. So that's working perfectly. Needs four tyres now, because these are rotted out. It's been here so long. Um, but it wasn't technically mine, but it's, I think it sort of is now. Um, big IV codes all up together, finally. Um, still looking for a gearbox for a Jeep, if anyone happens to have one floating around. And I've been buying stuff. I bought this. I'll put a bit of video footage in. Someone rang me a couple of weeks ago and said, did I want to buy a motorhome that had been sat for a few years? So, um, she's a very random thing. So, 1983 Tabot, based on a Mercedes T1. I think there's a 207 or 207D hiding underneath there. And, um, look at that. Very strangely, I might do a bit of a bit of footage on it. It's diesel LPG. Well, I heard, I know they do it, but um, diesel LPG, structurally absolutely minty, no welding needed. Sadly, inside was a bit nasty. So, very retro seat covers, um, but it's been a bit ruined. The ceiling isn't actually, was leaking around two of the skylights, but someone's repaired it a while ago. So we're going to do a bit of a series on them, on sorting Tabby, the Tabitha the Tabard out, I'm putting a new bathroom in it. But it's quite a cool thing. And the one thing I am definitely going to have to do, I am assuming that this vehicle, when supplied new, obviously she's left hand drive, was automatic. So someone's put a manual gearbox in it, but put a manual gearbox with a right hand drive gear selector in it, or a stick selector in it. So the gear stick is so far from the driver's seat. Um, so I, I'll speak to nice Mr. Alex Boss in, um, in Belgium and see if he can sell me the top of a gearbox, the selector side of it, that's left hand drive. So I can put the gear stick down there where it's supposed to be. I might have to lean out of my seat to change it every time. Um, that's about it, really. Not much else exciting to report. Right, I'm going to go back to my other T1 inside and get cutting some lumps off of it.
So I've um, cut my repair, well, panel <laughs> off. So uh, as you see the old boy, the other bulkheads down here, um, we've seen that bit, it will seem to cut that big section out the top there, drilled all the spot welds, cut the necessary mounts off. And I am just chasing this one in. So uh, this is the back half of the steering column mount. So we've got to cut the spot welds out of there. The rest of the originals are in there. And then just the front off of the uh, off of this, the windscreen wiper motor mount. Um, I've decided, I did originally leave the uh, driver's side spindle mount for the windscreen uh, wiper still attached, but I've oit that off. So what I'll do a second, I'll slot this in and you can get a rough idea of what I'm up to. Um, obviously, we just got to get in here with some, but you can see my idea. Obviously, um, this truck was the very, the very last on an N, um, and this I think is E or F reg. So there are some minor bulkhead differences. We'll get rid of this, lose it, but the main points are the same. Um, obviously, I'm not going to just butt weld this to here. Um, I've got a line cut in here, so I need to trim it all back to make it fit. Um, the earlier 207, this is out of 410, wouldn't have had these big supports, but they're here. Um, they are well attached. And to be honest, they're only on two bolt fixings and some plugs. So we may use those. We'll keep them just uh, so that everything lines up where it would have done originally. Um, same here. I mean, um, we're on our marks and we're up here. So basically, um, I mean, it's a big chunk of bolted. Um, let me go lean around on here. You can see that I can obviously access the back of it. So what I will do is I'm going to mark along the back and then make my final decisions where I cut, how I join it together. Um, and then I've got this this rail on the back here, um, which for the minute I've just literally drilled the welds and bent down out of the way, so we need to rejoin that. Um, but I don't reckon for a dashboard, well, not dashboard replacement, bulkhead replacement, um, that's a bad start. You wouldn't have done it without a, um, without a spares wagon out in the backyard. Um, I think you just actually struggled to fix this. Um, and what else have we done today? So. I've still got to fix me transport before I go home because that's in limp mode again. Um, so Dom, um, as I showed earlier, has been merrily cracking on. So this is a little petrol 210. We got the front stripped off of it because the wings were rotten. Um, they were taken off many years ago. You can see where they scraped the, the sealer off and then never bothered putting any paint on it. Um, so we'll, we'll sort that as well. So we're just basically repairing this, um, this inner seal. It was quite exciting because um, it was full of cardboard, um, newspaper, body filler, you know, the sort of nice things that you use for repairing structural sections on a vehicle, that sort of that good quality, yeah, good quality stuff. So um, we've thrown all that in the bin. Um, and then, ooh, let me creep down here. As you can see, um, the rear inner seal, well, that had gone, and, um, and the jack pointers really quite suffered so we fabricated a new bent up a new jack point she sat over there um so that'll be tomorrow's tack in so we get the jack point in get the sill repaired and rebuilt along the bottom here there's no point changing this whole panel just to be honest it's pretty good and we've got a uh, press brake so we can fold these bits up oh. and then um i'm gonna do a bit of bit of love there in the corner um and then we're ready for the new uh, new outer seal panel. Anyway. So after lots of grinding, bashing, welding, you can see the state of me. The um, that is a fitted second hand bulkhead. Half a second hand bulkhead cut in, fitted in to repair the damage on this thing. Let me just spin this round a minute. So um not to excuse, I've um, seam sealed it as you would have seen and covered it all in gooch, only because I want it to dry overnight, because tomorrow I'm gonna try and get the um the outer panel back on, cut into these windscreen posts, and then we'll um, we'll start assembling it. I've got a bit of cleaning up and a bit of seaming to do, and seam seaming to do on the inside. You can see where she's gone in, bit of grinding, bit of tidying up. Um, 
but basically, oh, and obviously these to finish. I'll try and stagger them so we got the main panel joined there, and I'm going to obviously bend this back up and cut and join it there. Um, but so good old T1. There we go. We've got a little bit more rot. Cut the screen panel on. That bit there to fix, and I think this bit here might want fixing because my finger goes through it. Um, and then basically it can start going back together and then it can leave. Or back for an MOT and then leave. Uh, dear old Dom has been other t running all day. So he's, oh dear. He's rebuilt all of the jack points and um, um, repaired this, you can see the two patches on the bottom. They've got to be ground up and tidied up. And then he's just on them. Um, fabricating the corner on there and then they've got to finish this jack point here and um, we haven't tapped the bottom of it round yet because we need to know where the panel lies once it's on and then we've got to make that, um, that big bit of missing in the sill there and then put the outer sill on um, but that's another day and um, we've been doing lots more sounding right so i think we'll call this part three of how to rebuild the bulkhead and the windscreen panel and all the rot in your t1 camper van um, because otherwise this video is going to be hideously long and then we'll do a part four of putting the windscreen panel on putting the windscreen back in um seeming sealing it up fixing this might even get into a part five um and chucking the front back on it and then once that's done with it is mot time and then the thing can go back to the customer and he can fix the rest of the well the bathroom's falling out of it and the bits on the back that are rubbish but um, but that's not my, my job Right, marvellous.